So there will not be any more examples at this point. I just want to uh, point out um, some other ideas that are going to come up in this section in terms of revenue and profit. It's all going to be in the same style as the example that we just saw with cost. So just like we have total cost, C of X, you could also have total revenue, capital R of X, uh, revenue being the money that you bring in. So there's the cost and then there's the revenue and then when you put those together, now we're talking about profit. So how much money did I bring in minus how much money I've spent is how much money we've profited. And well, of course, that could be positive or negative or zero if these are exactly equal. So P of X being the total profit. OK, each one of these has a marginal. So there's the marginal cost. There's marginal revenue and there's marginal profit. Now, because marginal profit is R of X minus C of X, you can also think of that as R prime of X minus C prime of X. Okay. And there are the averages. So there's average cost, average revenue, and average profit, right? How much money are you profiting per uh, unit? Might be good to know. And you could, again, think of that as R of, X, R of X over X minus C of X over X. And finally, there's the marginal averages. So C bar prime of X, R bar prime of X, and P bar prime of X, uh, like so. Now, be careful. Yeah, the one thing... I'd say be very cautious about is finding these marginal uh, averages, marginal average cost, marginal average revenue, marginal average profit, because um, when you're dividing by X, you know, you have to split that fraction, you know, each way and divide each term by X and then simplify and then do your derivative. Uh, you may be thinking, is there a way to perform the derivative you know, as the fraction, just with numerator denominator, like the way it's written originally, there is a way to do that derivative, but that doesn't come up until the next chapter. So for now, we've got to simplify it, if you will, um, which is really the way to go, um, even after we learn that new style. Thinking of it as a polynomial and not as a fraction is still going to be a faster approach. Okay. Uh, that is it for chapter two. Go check out the homework. Maybe I'll see you in office hours.